We are taking you live to Michigan for the rally with I'm Donald Trump. We're to be back in the great state of Michigan with thousands and thousands, and I mean lots of thousands up here. This is a hell of an arena. This is a hell of an arena. But you are the hardworking patriots that we love. You know, they have crowds of people outside. You're not even going to believe it. They go blocks and blocks. But let's forget about them, right? Let's forget about them. Let me begin this evening with a very special thanks to Americans nationwide, including all of you here today, for your extraordinary outpouring of love and support in the wake of the horrific last Saturday event. And when you think of it, it was exactly one week ago today, almost to the hour, even to the minute. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. What a day it was. As I said earlier this week, I stand before you only by the grace of Almighty God. That's true. I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. Maybe JD or somebody else would be here, but I shouldn't be here right now. But something very, something very special happened. Let's face it, something happened. I want to thank Butler Memorial Hospital in Pennsylvania for the incredible job they did and service they gave. And all of the great citizens of Butler, Pennsylvania, and the surrounding area, and everyone else for the job they did and the love that they showed us all. It was incredible, actually. What a time that was. What a time that was. Nobody's seen anything like it. And hopefully, they never will again. And they had cameras blazing. I guess it was different in that way, too, because we were right in the middle. All those, see, look at all the news back there. And they were all blazing. They were. They were going. No, no. No, they covered it fairly. They couldn't believe what they were seeing either. So you did. You did cover it fairly. Let me also thank Congressman Ronnie Jackson from Texas. You know Congressman Ronnie Jackson for the care and treatment he gave me as an outstanding doctor, which he is. He's really an amazing guy. Where's Ronnie? Doc Ronnie's here someplace. Oh, thank you, Ronnie. Thank you very much. Great doctor. He was a great admiral, a great doctor. He's a White House doctor for Bush, Obama, and a guy named Trump. And they said, who was the healthiest of the three? He said, not even a question, Trump. And I said, I love that guy. I love that guy. When he said that, that was my doctor. Even if he's a congressman, that was my doctor. But he's been a great congressman. Thank you very much, Ronnie, for everything. We appreciate it. Ronnie Jackson. We continue to pray for the recovery of the two citizens who were wounded in that evil attack, David Dutch and James Copenhaver, two really incredible people. We remain in contact and send our deepest respect to the families. Uh, Corey, as you know, Corey, Comparator was a brave firefighter who died funeral yesterday, shielding his wife and daughters from bullets. He shielded them from the bullets of this, this horrendous person. Corey was a hero, and we will carry his memory in our hearts for all time. Great hero. That's great. And he was a big Trumper, and we will never forget him, right? We're all together. We're all together. This is — there's never been anything like what you witnessed the other day with the convention. I don't think there's ever been a convention where there was such unity and love. And even the — I now I'll say just for a second, the fake news even said it that way. I want to be nice. But the fake news reported it 
correctly. That was — there's never been such unity, and everybody did a great job, and the speeches and everything. It was just an incredible event. And uh, I'll tell you what, Milwaukee was a fantastic place. This was a beautiful arena, and they did a really great job. And Wisconsin is going to vote for us because we spent $250 million. And when they go into the voting booth, they're going to say, we love this guy, Trump. He gave us $250 million with jobs, and they're going to vote. Wisconsin's a very important state, as we know. But they really did. Wisconsin did a great job. Milwaukee, they did a great job. And the arena was uh, fantastic. And it was just love. It was like a big, beautiful four-day love fest. There was no — there was no fight, you know? There was no fight, no screams, no shouting. No, uh, get that guy off the platform. And in case there was, we had the Hulkster with us, right? How good was he? How good was the Hulkster? And Kid Rock called. He said, I want to get — you know, Kid Rock is big, and he wanted to get down, and he did an unbelievable job. He was great. And But all of them, everybody. We had so many great people there. It was really an amazing thing to see, and it was uh, really something I don't think there's ever been a lot of people report. I think it was either party. There's never been anything like it. And now we have something coming up where they're going to go for the convention, and they have a couple of problems. Number one, they have no idea who their candidate is, and neither do we. That's a problem. But we'll see. Hopefully, they get it worked out. Sort of interesting, this guy goes and he gets the votes, and now they want to take it away. That's democracy. They talk about democracy. Let's take it away from them. But now we go forward as one movement, and really, we're doing a very — we have a very special group of people, like the people here. You people built this country. It's one movement, and we're more united, determined than ever before. We've never been so determined. Bad things happened last time. We're not going to let them happen this time. Bad, bad things happen. We will never stop working to deliver a magnificent future for our people, and together we will fight, 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 right? And we will win, win, win. All right. Thank you. I like this place. You ever walk in to a place and you say, I sort of like this place? <laughs> Less than four months from now, we are going to win Michigan. We are going to take back the White House in a monumental landslide. And with your help, we are going to make America great again. Right? Right? At our convention on — just a little while ago in Milwaukee on Thursday, it was my tremendous honor to officially accept the Republican nomination for President of the United States. And I used to say it in 2016, and I meant it 100 percent, but I mean it even more now because this country has gone wrong. We're a failing nation. We're really a left-at failing nation right now. This will be the most important election in the history of our country. This is going to be the most important election. We cannot let it slip by. We cannot let people cheat. We cannot let this slip by, or we're not going to have a country. Because I do have other things I could be doing. It would be a lot easier. Although, I'd rather be with you than sitting on some gorgeous beach watching boring waves coming — coming in. No, I'd rather — I would rather do. Actually, I would. <laughs> you know that. I think that's one of the reasons we've been so successful together. You know I mean that, too. But we're going to make our country more successful than ever before. Yet even as we gather this evening, we will — and take a look. Still, the Democratic nominee, we, we're going to find out shortly, maybe. I don't know. What? Uh, let's do this. Let's do a poll. You know, I love doing polls, right? Like, I do a poll. I do lots of polls. Like, do you like Make America Great Again, or do you like America First, or do you like them both? I like them both, right? But 
Let's do a poll on candidates. Ready? So I'll go. I'll go. We're going to do a poll on a few candidates. The press will like this because they won't have to pay for the poll. You know, you do these crazy polls and they charge you 250. Look, there's Mr. Wall. This guy is the greatest guy. This guy. He must have a lot of money because he's at so many different rallies. And he was at the one that was a tough one, wasn't he? That was something. You were right up in the front. Uh, you saw that. That was something. We're going to do a poll, and it's going to be a very nice poll. And it, right? <laughs> Who's your favorite candidate? Who would you like? Let's do it. Who would you most like to run against? Because, you know, you could say, who's the best candidate? We're saying, who would you like to? We'll start with Kamala Harris, and then <laughs> And then we'll go, and then we'll go to Crooked Joe Biden, and then we could possibly discuss a few others. So who would you like to most run against if you're us, if we want to win? Ready? Kamala Harris. Crooked Joe Biden. All right. I don't think we have to go too much further. Well, you have a terrible governor here who did a terrible job. Whitman. I'd like to run against her, actually. I'd like to run against her. So she's one of the 20 that I mentioned. She's the one that gave her husband full right, title, and interest to everything, but nobody else could do anything but her husband. Her husband was sailing in the middle of your lake, your beautiful lake. He's out there sailing, and everybody else had to be locked up, right?